Hi, I'm Jim Dowd at Zor Outdoor. I'm here on behalf of expertvillage.com to talk with you about fly casting and fly fishing. In this little segment, we're going to talk about the casting stroke as it relates to distance. The rule of thumb, basically, is that for a short cast, make a short stroke. For a long cast, make a long stroke. And it looks like this. I'm casting about 15 feet of line and leader. And you can see that the arc and my distance between stops, the arc of my movement, is really short. So for a short cast, a short stroke works. Now I'm lengthening the cast out. I'm adding more line and you'll see that as I add the line, the stroke gets longer. I'm now out to about 40 feet and the stroke is distinctly longer. So short cast, short stroke. Long cast, long stroke. And that'll help you immeasurably. I'm standing here with the wind blowing across my shoulder and the fly lines going downwind and I'm just working on loop control trying to throw a nice tight loop with only the amount of casting power necessary. And you notice the loop's kind of tight here. It's just about six inches. And what I'm doing is I'm celebrating the beauty of casting practice. This is what makes you a fly fisherman, your ability to cast and the simple joy of fly casting. So I encourage you, whenever you have the chance, to spend a few moments and work on casting in different situations. Now I'm going to cast over different line angles. Notice how the wind is working, so I'm figuring out the line. Coming back over here, this works much better. Casting practice teaches you things that you'll never get just fishing. Because when you're fishing, you're so excited about catching a fish, you lose sight of the joys and the beauty of practice. So do this. It'll pay you huge dividends.